Hey guys, it's Stefania from Merge.com. So as you may have noticed, there was a topic posted on RuneScape Reddit of an image of a guy with 1684k Amulets of Fury in a trade screen. Then three JMods confirmed that it was real without any bug abuse involved. I simply refuse to believe that. It rather annoys me that Jagex cannot just be honest about it, so I decided to make a video to run through some basic calculations that nobody else seems to have done, uh, which I was quite surprised about. And I'll also sum up some of the possible reasons uh, behind this, since a lot of people are asking anyways. So let's see, there are really only four options here, of which only two can be true. The first option, he ran his own massive bot farms to gather Taco. He would need to kill 1.5 mil Tsar creatures for Taco every single day for 8 years without ever getting caught. This would take him 10 accounts per world in 100 worlds, killing 1 Tsar creature per, per minute, and doing that 24 7 for eight years then because he's not done then of course he would need to use all the tuckle to buy one onyx at a time in a gem store up to 60 onyxes per hour probably uh, just buying them would take him about 28,000 hours which is 1170 days or three years of his life even with a faster method of let's say 30 seconds per onyx it would still be one and a half years just to buy them so making one amulet of fury after that is pretty simple. It's just two mil, 2.7 mil tackle to buy the onyx, uh, then 167 and a half crafting XP for cutting it, 165 for smelting it into an amulet, and uh, 72.7 magic XP for enchanting it. Yeah, I did my homework. Um, but that's just one amulet of fury. And we have to do that times 1.684 million which means he would have gotten 455 million crafting XP from turning them into onyx amulets and then another 122.4 magic 122.4 million magic XP for enchanting them into amulets of fury and then we haven't even mentioned the time that it would take to craft them which i'm really just not going to calculate you would need to cut them and then smelt them 13 at a time and string them. Uh, I just can't be bothered to get into that. It's going to be a ridiculous amount of years. Um, oh yeah, and all of that, of course, without Jagex ever noticing. Then the second option. He somehow managed to gather about 3 trillion without Jagex noticing and has been buying Furies on a lot of accounts for a long time. Now you might argue with me that he could have gotten it through botting, staking, dicing, real trading or merchanting. Well, my thoughts are that botting would have been noticed at this scale. Stakers would have realized that someone was wiping the floor with them literally every single time. So uh, I really don't think those would have kept going against him. Then dicing is plain not possible because every big dicer back in the day was known and there is no way that they could have gathered 3 trillion uh, from dicing back then, with, even without Jagex noticing or removing it. Or, or without them even real world trading. It's just not a possibility no matter how you calculate it. Then real world trading without Jagex detecting it, even suggesting that is a complete joke because people have been banned for even moving something like 10 billion. Um, so that's just really not an option. And uh, merchanting would mean that he would have had, like really the only way for that to be possible would be having hundreds up to thousands of party yet since runescape classic and having sold them for at least one bill each uh, i think that the market would probably have felt that no matter how long it took uh, but that's just my opinion so uh if then the players detecting isn't convincing you then think of jagex he this this guy with the furies he somehow avoided literally every check jagex ran on all accounts Think about when they told us that only less than 1% of the players have over 1 bill. Think of the archer ring dupe when they ran through all accounts. And uh, how about the crucible glitch where uh, people bug abused uh, duplicating max cash stacks and Jagex tracked them across dozens of accounts. All of these examples are things where Jagex ran through their entire player base with uh, certain algorithms to figure out certain stuff they would have definitely ran across a guy with this many Furies. Really just thinking that that never happened in the nine years Onyxes have existed is ridiculous. There must have been at least one out of the hundreds of Jagex employees who looked up uh, who the ri richest player in RuneScape is just even once. Now the JMod on the forum is, uh, the forums is acting all surprised, but the right person at the office there can look up exactly who was what in no time. 
If you'd like to believe that really not one of them was ever curious about that, and then if they found out that the word wouldn't spread, be my guest. Option three, he bug abused with rune duplication in Barbarian Assault in 2009 and or 2007. Now here's someone explaining how that worked. Uh, after duplicating, then he would of course have traded those runes in for Tockel in the Tsar shop, and uh, then he would have need to trade those for Onyxes uh, without getting caught, and then the whole crafting process of course, which takes years. And of course, all of this, all of this would have needed to happen before Jagex started tracking data, because uh, Jagex of course doesn't have all the data going back all the way to Classic, uh, which means that they wouldn't be able to prove right now that someone bug abused so many years ago and then they have no choice but to confirm that it is real. And then the final option, option 4, is that the JMods are dishonest and uh, either took this picture on the RuneScape beta or uh, they didn't check it properly or there's some kind of joke going on which is just really not funny. Um, in my opinion, it just really has to be option 3 or 4 and all I'd like to see is Jagex just being honest with their players about this and just telling us what happened. Sadly, that's probably not going to happen, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video anyways. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all again next week for another video.